Hey friends, I am Kalal Ghosh and today I'm going to tell you what is router and what is routing. So I'm opening the Cisco Packet Tracer. So I've taken a two pieces here and assigned the IP 150.100.100.1. The C address is 24. That means the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0, and this one is 100.2. So at th at this time the um, the two pieces uh, can communicate. I'm showing you. I'm sending a packet from here to here. You can see the status. It is successful. And to assure you, you can ping this PC from the destination IP address. So you can see the replies: uh, 150.100.100.2 packet sent to uh, four and for received four, so lost as zero. So that means they are communicating in that this time. So what will happen if I change the network portion 150 to 180? and I'm changing from over here from the PC also so what do you think what will happen it is communicate or not so you're right it will not communicate so I'm showing you so you can see the status is failed to confirm it you can type the ping command dot one zero zero dot one and you can see the reply request timeout so it is not transmitting any data or or it can never be receive any data so you have to remember that if the network portion are different between two hosts they will unable to send and receive packets this is one of the most fundamental basic rule about how the traffic can be passed between devices and a network layer remember network layer of the OSI model in the portion of the OSM model that deal with the IP addressing and routing. So we are working with the internet protocol here to send and receive data. So to get over, over this problem we use router. I'm taking router here. So that why I use router. Router is a device that can communicate between different types of networks. So I'm showing another network so um there is a three router and i'm showing you i'm going to tell you that what is routing and what will what do you do in the routing so the router i have not set the routing yet on this topology so the the this router only knows two networks this network and this network because it is directly connected to this two networks this router doesn't know about other three networks because it is not directly connected to the router so what you do in the routing we put the in uh, information network information or the routing table information of other networks into the each routers so this is what you do in the routing and uh, routing is a process by which an information packet is sent from one location to another location this process is performed by a hardware device called router routers thus route traffic to all the networks in your internet work so as I say in a single uh, word uh, in a single definition you can say that processing of packets from one network to another network is known as routing you can say that so routing are uh, two types is um, static routing and dynamic routing so I will teach you about the, um, the static routing and the dynamic routing I will on next on my next video so I can think that uh, you have completely understood the what is router and what is routing so if you like my video friends and if you want to get attached with this, this type of videos, please subscribe my channel and like my videos and share where you can. And in the next video, I will show you how to um, what is static routing and how to configure static routing in a Cisco router. And after that, I will show you the dynamic routings. So I am Kalal Ghosh. Thanks for watching.